Hello, and welcome to Sci-Fi Sundays. I am Jacob XP, and today I want to talk about wormholes. Season 3 of The Expanse has just ended, and at the end we were showing thousands of different wormholes or portals to other star systems, and this got me thinking about my favourite wormholes throughout the history of science fiction. As most of you watching would already know, a wormhole is a bridge between two points in space. It can be visualized as a tunnel with two ends, each at separate points in space-time. The idea of a wormhole was first theorized in 1916 by Austrian physicist Ludwig Flamm and later expanded by Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen, hence the name Einstein-Rosen Bridge. Now, I am by no means by any stretch of the imagination qualified to talk about the physics behind a wormhole, but it did get me thinking. Sci-fi writers have been using the wormhole as a loophole of sorts to allow the travel of great distances across space and even time. Space is massive and in order for characters to reach other planets, star systems or even galaxies within their lifetime or even within several lifetimes, the wormhole was created, in theory, allowing for near instantaneous travel. It's a great way to cross the void. So I started thinking about the best use of wormholes in modern day sci-fi. So let's call this Jake's top five wormholes in science fiction. Now, I'm gonna talk about The Expanse. Obviously that's on my list, but as a book reader, I won't go into too much detail as I don't wanna spoil possible future events. But I do love the idea of a wormhole hub. Thousands of gateways to other star systems all meeting in this station, the Grand Central Station of sorts. Maybe one of the star systems has a planet populated by three-breasted alien babes. So in the expanse, instead of a traditional wormhole with one entry and one exit point, we get all the gateways ending up in this one spot which allows travel to any of the other wormholes. It's pretty awesome. Of course, next on the list is Stargate. I mean, it's one of the most iconic and simplest versions of a wormhole in modern day sci-fi. The ancient gate system built almost entirely from Nakwada, a fantastical super dense mineral that greatly amplifies energy, the gates actually draw and store energy from subspace or another energy source. This along with a powerful Nakwada that again amplifies energy explains how the gates are able to power themselves. So if you know anything about wormhole physics, which I don't, you would know though that it in theory requires a great amount of power to open a gate. Earth technology just isn't there yet. So in Stargate, they came up with the idea of not only having an ancient ultra advanced civilization build the gates, but they created a new mineral, a made up thing that amplifies energy. So even on Earth with our current energy sources, we can still open a wormhole. And this sort of allowed the riders to bypass the whole energy thing, which I thought was quite, quite unique in the wormhole sort of thing. We never really addressed the power issues. And I really enjoy how Stargate addressed the power issues, even though it was you know, mostly made up, it's still, they, they, they put a bit of time into it, which I appreciated. Deep Space Nine is probably my favorite Star Trek series. Maybe, maybe not, but I am a big Cisco fan. I mean, look at this guy. What a boss. What I enjoyed about the Bajoran wormhole in DS9 is that it illustrated the vast distances and size of a single galaxy. The Bajoran wormhole connects two quadrants together, closing the gap of roughly 70,000 light years. To put things into perspective, at the time in Star Trek, the fastest Federation ship traveling at maximum warp would have taken 67 years to make the trip. Now with the use of the wormhole, it's almost instantaneous. I like how Star Trek addressed the issue of distance and the time it would take to traverse the distance. This is why this wormhole makes my top five list. For example, in Star Wars, I think it was A New Hope, Darth Vader says something like, if they've made it to light speed, they'd be on the other side of the galaxy by now. Well, either light speed means something other than the speed of light, Star Wars physics are different to our own known physics, their galaxy is flippin' tiny, or the term light speed is just the name given to magical fast space travel through hyperspace or whatever. Because if the galaxy far, far away is anything like our Milky Way galaxy, at least in terms of size, even traveling at the speed of light, it will take roughly 100,000 years to get from one side to the other. This is why I like Star Trek and how it addresses this issue. It's not just some magical thing. It's like straight up, it'll take this many years to get there. That's something that The Expanse does really well as well, which is why wormholes are a great narrative device that allow for this great distance. Another thing that's really good to travel distance, I really enjoyed in Mass Effect, the mass relays. Now, I'm not really sure if I could call this a wormhole per se. In principle, it's very similar. You rock up to the thing, you input your mass, you go inside and then you fire off to the other point. So the mass relays are kind of like the wormholes and it sort of puts you through a wormhole-like system, though 
technically in the series they call them corridors not wormholes so i don't really know if this can make it but if it's going to make my list but i do very much enjoy that series so i'm putting it on there anyway because i love it except for the fourth one i, I don't know what happened there but the fourth one kind of sucks next on the list is babylon 5 now again this is a little bit different than a traditional wormhole, what we think of a wormhole, but they still call them wormholes, so I'm putting it on the list. In Babylon 5, instead of a point between two spots, the artificially created wormholes allow travel into the hyperspace dimension, which allows for faster than light travel. You pop through a jump gate or a large ship, fly through the stormy hyperspace, then pop out on the other side. It's pretty cool. This is also very similar to Gene Roddenberry's Andromeda. A super cheesy television series with Kevin Sorbo in there, but uh, Look, I think it's absolutely underrated again, except for the last season. I don't know what it is with the last seasons of things, but that one kind of sucked. But it's a pretty fun ride, so check it out. So I love wormholes in science fiction. It just opens up the universe. It allows for travel across great distances, the mingling of alien species, otherworldly travel, bringing technology from far away to us. And it just makes this giant universe all that little bit smaller. Or it can show you how big it really is. And it just allows for an excuse to get to other star systems other than, well, my ship's really fast because that doesn't really make sense. So let's get a discussion going. What are your favorite wormholes in sci-fi? And what other means of FDL do you think work good or as good as or better than a wormhole for a narrative device? Thanks for watching, friends. Keep those FDL drives spooled up and I'll see you next time.